Hey, we're back, and it's rolling green, and let me tell you, yesterday I checked out this Dax for, like, the first time ever outside of the uh, Tom McDonald collab, which I already didn't put on the channel, so obviously the pitch man should stop and the honesty should come out. I liked it. I thought it was good. I mean, I thought it was really good, and, um... Because today I'm connecting with my head writer, seeing if I can uh, bill for eye strain and um, uh, letting them know that uh, they do nothing but um, send me the positive uh, uh, copy I need, right? I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting nothing but 100% from the writing team. So I was informed that uh, this dude's whole career in nothing but um, fire for me. If you've watched any of my other reactions. So, I think it's that simple. I don't have much more to say than, uh, you know, honestly, uh, the writing crew is um, <laughs> just the greatest. Uh, just like the whole foundation of my little tiny organization seems to be going pretty well. And uh, I, I've never, uh, for a, a loose collaboration of people all over the, the, the globe, it seems to be going well. So, whoa, what happened? Oh, American Gods fell over. Yeah, uh, it turns out this isn't a bookstore, and sometimes props don't work. I'm pretty sure the music will take all of that insecurity and fear away, so let's just get into it. something back. You know, sometimes you gotta give the people something to believe in and go get it. I didn't expect anybody to believe in my dream because it wasn't theirs in the first place. That's what I did. intro and we're gonna we're gonna figure because i i got a little confused because i thought that was the end of the song and i'm like wow this is powerful the black and white photography um to be honest the well i'm gonna I'm throw it out there i'm just gonna say it because i got thrown off by that I, I thought it was the song what the hell do i know as i've always said all my opinions are for entertainment purposes only and i don't know my <clears throat> you know i don't know my ass from a hole in the ground <laughs> tell you this the black and white, uh, it made me think of it, actually made me think of um, a couple really, I think it was a Jim Jaramouche film or something like that. One of the, I'm not trying to go film on this. It's that dream. I, I don't know, because I, I tried to give up the mainstream narrative a while back, and now I'm two, two months detached from uh, a steady stream of news and anger and all I heard was a message that would be conveyable to, to anybody like everybody I know would hear that message the same way I believe the the faces reflect feelings we all share so I mean I'm just I don't know I'm just trying to clarify that too many years in the joint too many years with people that were important to me. Yeah, I could totally relate to everything that was said there. So, um, I think 
I think what I find surprising is so much more of this now in today's day and age um, crosses barriers where when I was a young guy that the rap music I only had a couple choices. Everything else might have been underground, and it was pre. I grew up pre digital, so underground meant something. Wait, go ask some grateful deadhead relative what it was like trading those tapes and those recordings back in the day. Wait, you, you, you think they went on the internet and downloaded stuff? All that took place before Bear Share or whatever one of them shit was back in the day. Was the one that Lars sued, whatever that one was. Um, that being said, that was all awesome, and I just have to say it. It makes me think. Um, well, it hit way close to home more than you think. Now, if you watched everything in order since I started doing this, you'd understand completely. Um, for first time viewer, this could get weird because I'm probably talking about stuff like I started out talking about stuff that's in my comments. So if you didn't write that comment, you're like, what's he talking? Yeah, because I'm just talking to one person right there. Just one. Uh, when I'm sitting here saying, man, Dax was awesome and uh, writers got good choices. I'm really looking at the camera going, I'm going to check this dude out and see if he blows my brain cells up just like all the rest of the, you know, this is a wake and bake. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, awake and bake. I love it. With some rap, you know, with some some. Oh, I gotta I gotta fix this up. Let's get back to this too. And I'm sorry I rambled too much, but I probably haven't got enough playlist in me yet. Okay. It's Dax. Chip. Where I'm from, they never did it. I did it first. Rap game one shit. I gave it birth. I told them niggas I will make it because I wasn't stopping. Yeah, they was laughing. Now I'm laughing because I know they watch. See, where I'm from, they never did it. I did it first. Rap game one shit. I gave it birth. I told them niggas I would make it because I wasn't stopping. Yeah, they was laughing. Now I'm laughing because I know they watch. I know you watch. I know they watching me. In and out of poverty. Hit me trying to get it. The only reason they calling me. Saying I got lucky a guppy. I hit the lottery. Pottery. How I'm molding the game. My gift is an artist. Before nah, I don't know shit about his career. But I bet it's because he worked harder than everybody else. Now, I did see the video director's pinned comment as I was looking this up. So, I am, I am. I'm speaking from a place of knowledge, not ignorance there. Pretty sure what I read there told me what I needed to know. They watching me, in and out of poverty Hit me trying to get it, the only reason they calling me Saying I got lucky, a guppy, I hit the lottery Pottery, how I'm molding the game, my gift is an artist You follow me No, 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 this is two years old He couldn't have hit the lottery And we talk about this shit on this channel all the time So look that up, it is a rabbit hole um, I didn't think I was going to put this up today, but I am um, Lottery winning, man, I love that line in all these Because here, I'll speak to every one of you I don't give no fucks. That lottery ticket is just a dollar to the system. Now, there are cosmic odds everywhere, and I talked about it yesterday, but I got rid of the video. Um, I was in my car, but it just, I got tailgaters, and I started raging, road raging. So I, I dumped the video, but what I was talking about is, so they say out here in the country, you got a two-lane road. Now, here you got 15 miles of empty country. You got 15 miles of empty country the other way. Or it's down in the city and it's not, uh, all the stop signs are going one direction until eight blocks there, there's one going yours and you don't you don't see that stop sign. On the country, I don't, I don't see the, the mail car putting the mail in the mailbox and then there's another car. So somehow the cosmic force has brought us together so our three cars are gonna go there at the same time. And that's that same moment someone's looking at their phone, bam. Now, you got a better chance of that happening than winning the lottery. But we're talking about the same cosmic forces, right, that win those kind of odds. Now, where should you focus all your energy? It shouldn't be on winning that lottery because look it up. Those, it does not make people's lives. 
it turns out piles and piles of fast cash without a work ethic and a moral base to, to build on. You smoke that shit up or whatever you're into. Me, I was a crackhead. That's why the big book's back there. Um, well, little blue book, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. No, I like this shit. It's hard, too. In and out of poverty. Hit me trying to get it. The only reason they calling me. Saying I got lucky a guppy. I hit the lottery. Pottery. How I'm molding the game. My gift is an artist. You follow me, nigga. That's what I told him to do. You started laughing. That was funny because the joke is on you. None funny. Now I'm winning. I was talking the truth. None less. None more. When I step in the booth. It's a prediction. You just a witness. I tried to tell them I was different. They wouldn't listen. What they started, I'm a finish. I got a vision. You can stay or you can follow. And leave this prison. When I I had no pot to piss in, your ass was missing. Now you asking how I did it, it's repetition. Her belief without an ending, this a religion. I told your ass that I would do it, I fucking did it. Where I'm from, they never did it, I did it first. Rap game when shit, I gave it birth. I told them niggas I will make it, cause I wasn't stacking. Yeah, they was laughing, now I'm laughing, cause I know they watching. See where I'm from, they never did it, I did it first. Rap game when shit, I gave it birth. I told them niggas I would make it, cause I wasn't stacking. So the first thing I was supposed to learn is every time I've ever been, uh, I thought it was cute, funny, or I wanted to hop on the decline of Western civilization jokes. I want to apologize for everyone who lives at the bottom of the decline of Western civilization because it wasn't right. Now I'm still probably going to make those jokes because I'm, I'm me, and that is what we do. I think I think a lot of us say a lot more harsh things than we think they are. But I don't think the context behind them maybe is what a softy gets from it. Because, uh, trust me, like in this contest, or, yeah, hey, don't trust me. Fuck, don't trust anybody that says trust them. Oh, that's a technique. It's bullshit and I'm glad I, yeah, don't do that. If they're going to give you the best deal you've ever had in your life, they are hustling you. It's just a technique. It's a technique to get over on people. Don't trust me. It ain't worth it. Um, and that whole thing made me forget what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, ah, that was a badass tune. Um, I don't relate to the rap element, but I relate to every other part of it. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The decline of Western civilization. Uh, 
So here in this format, I see um, because of the, if you want to be fair, uh, the cinematography, and yeah, I'm looking at the time. I got about five minutes I'm willing to work with, and then I got to wrap it up. Um, so to say, you know, like with the cinematography, the, the, the color contrast, the black and white, the, the aged or um, life experience on the face of the people portrayed in the imagery, you get a much more solemn take when you juxtaposition that against uh, the uh, the train robberies going on. And, and like, I'd have to look deeper, but um, yeah, or, or something, you know what I mean? So here's the thing. I went to Occupy Wall Street. I got down there, and it wasn't people who needed a hand. You can follow me on this. So I got down there, and there's all the regular people, and there was just encampments. And I'm like, okay, is this people trying to find camaraderie and get themselves off of their position. No, it was like tents full of junkies and stuff like that. But instead of working, it was easier to hustle and bang dope and hustle and bang dope. And then, you know, maybe rape a few people. I'm not trying to be vulgar. Okay. I thought we were all down there to, to bring down the corporation that was ruining our lives. How many ever years ago that was. And it turns out we weren't, we were just, um, I think spreading this effed up idea of anarchy where if you you just drop out of society and completely give up, something will happen. What, you'll find a kick-ass addiction to make things ends meet? I don't know. I'm just, there's such a, it's so confusing, so complicated. It is not cut and dry. Everybody out there must realize there's there's the people that end up where they don't want to, and there's the people that choose to be there. And if as soon as we generalize, as soon as we say it's this and not that, it's one thing, not another, once we say it's black and white, not a shade of gray, I mean, we just, we just wax over what all has to be done. I mean, I don't have an answer. I could pull one out of my ass right now, and because I'm an ex-con and I do believe in rehabilitation and the power of some programs to uh, maybe help a person, um, you know, get some help to the people banging dope, hiding in tents on the street, and then get those people new jobs helping the people lost on the street find their way. Uh, people that are there because society has brushed them away or forgot about them, their mental illness or some other problem made them disappear through the cracks. Well, I guess there's our full circle today. When stuff slips through the cracks, you might have to go and pull up a floorboard or two and get it out of there. You can't just forget about it. You got to bring it back. You got to go, hey, we'll come full circle on this stuff. I need I need these important things back. It's my baby's ring. It's my, it's my bro's pendant. It's my, my dead mama's amulet. Whatever it is, there's things that we've lost or we've forgotten. Just try to find them. Try to get them back. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm using this as a metaphor for your humanity. But just in case it didn't get through. There's a few things we got to get back. Hey, this was awesome. I love what this music does to me. I, I, I have no regrets. That was fantastic. I'll be going... Uh, just keep digging around. I might go back, try to find his first recording. I don't know. I'm I'm just that way. I, uh, here, you can tell me I should listen to the hottest new track, but I'll wait. I'm in no hurry. I'd like to get a deeper, broader image of what's going on because that's how I like to do things. And uh, it looks like we got about 50 seconds sooner than I usually ramble. So, hey, 20 minutes show. Pff, had to be a winner. Must have brought something out of me. I've been me. I hope you're you. Stay you. Be the best you you can be. It's kind of what we think. Later.